to another episode. Now this week, I, Brittany Maxwell, am being joined by my good friend, Margot Potter. Hello. Yes, she's here to help us make, now what is it we're making again, dear? Weenie loaf. Wiener loaf. Did I hear weenies? Look who's here. <laughs> you, know, you always know when I'm cooking, don't you? Well, that's because you smell up the whole apartment house with wonderful odors, I must say. Well, oh. on that note, let's get started with our wiener loaf. All right. What do we do? Well, it's pretty straightforward. So oh, we're working with the mix. Yeah. It's just a corn muffin, cornbread mix. Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. All so right. So you can go ahead and pour that in. All right. Very good. And now I just like, one. Just one at a time because we're going to do two layers. Okay. Very good. So, so we need one egg. All right. I made a little. I made a little divot in the center here. Yeah, that's a good. So we're going to put our liquids divot, in there. Right. The, the just I need divot. Just ruined the one egg. <laughs> There's too many cooks. One egg. <laughs> One egg. One egg. Can you crack the egg? Do you know the oh. eggs come out of the cloaca? No, I didn't know that. And I even have chickens, which is... You have chickens? I have 16 pecky chickens. Well, you must live in the Bronx. <laughs> We're going to pour a third a cup of milk All right. to our handy dandy... Whole milk. Whole milk, not low fatty. Oh. The, all the full fat. Now, this is a vintage recipe, isn't it? It is. It's from 1965. All right, so I'm just going to stir this up, mm -hmm. and again, you know, you don't want to over stir. We need some Crisco. <gasps> Crisco. Would I you be willing Crisco. to do the honors? This is a nonstick pan, but I've not what used it doing? yet. Well, you're just going to grease it up. Grease up the with pan, a paper towel? With paper towel? Have you ever done that? No, no I've never I seen that. I always use my finger. I think you better do it. <laughs> I'm having Don't some... you remember my Christmas balls? I actually do. Okay, so we're taking a little bit of on here. Yeah, I always use paper towel. So we do want to get it nice and coated because cornbread can be kind of sticky. Sticky. A little bit. Sticky. Sticky. I am the impatient person. Very so. good. All right. So, yeah. It's mealy. I love mealy cornbread. Good There's work. some things that, that are, you don't want mealy apples. No. But you don't want cornbread that isn't mealy. Yeah, you know, you're right. Now, you could pack this with as many wieners as you like. I'm just going to do a sm small smattering, if you will. Mm -hmm. Instead of putting in so many, why don't you just put in a 12-inch wiener? Well, you <laughs> now, do you arrange them? That would be them? more like a hot dog on a stick without the stick. Now, do you arrange them in a certain I do this. Pattern? I, do, I do the edge, and I get the center, and I get the other edge. So that way, every slice is going to have... Everyone gets a wiener. Get, everybody gets a wiener. Mary Ellen, if you might be able to slice... Just, you know, do the little slices on the top of the weenies, the decorative slices. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, if you were to barbecue them, you slice. You sure you want me to do that? Crosswise. Well, you, you can't She's do that? She's not crafty, you know. Oh, well. Would you like me to do it? Yes, would you do, perhaps? Then, all right, then you all right, do that. So then I'll just whip up another batch here. We do the second mix to now cover, right? Now we're going to do the right? second one to cover. Thank you, dear. All right. Mary Ellen, are you technically challenged? No. Now, you want something like this, correct? Yes, that's what I want. Look at, you do everything so perfectly. We're just riveted at your weenie slicing skills. It doesn't need so much tension. Can yeah. I have a piece? Yeah. Okay. So it's just two two mixes mm -hmm. that are put together, mixed. First one is the bed. Right. And the second one is it's the coverlet. The Exa so, exactly. Very nice. Where did that come from? Oh, that's one of the sliced pies. Very pretty. I was just checking. Isn't out it? Some it's very it. impressive. Very weenie slicing bad. skills. <laughs> All right. So we're going to stir this up again. We don't want to over stir. Right. But you don't want to under stir either. Or, no. It's kind of a. You it's got to it be right. perfect. Perfect. Perfectly stirred. Yes. Which will it won't be because I'm doing it. But that's okay. We don't care. Mix and blend and mix and blend. And for some reason, the second one always seems to be drier than the first. Well, I imagine it's because you've got stuff left in the pan. You know, that's probably it. Mm -hmm. All right, that's good. All right, that's enough, Mary Ellen. Mary Ellen, are you being bad? No, I was just checking her wiener. Oh my goodness yes. gracious. Was. All okay, right. so we're going to pour again. All right, and we're going to cover our previously... We're going to cover that. Right. I'm going to grab these wieners. I, I didn't do anything with them. No? No. You were perfectly fine. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Somehow, mm -hmm. knowing Mary Ellen, All right, now we've got to make sure that this is nicely spread, correct? Yes, nicely spread. All right. Do you want to do the honors? And you know, there's some things that you want to lick the pan for, but cornbread Corn, is not Cornbread cornbread. would not be one of them. No. So we want to put, put these in with those slices facing up, and we're just going to gently right. nudge them in, and then we'll let that bake. All right, now what do we bake that at? It's at 400 degrees, and it takes... 
It depends on your oven temperature. 400 degrees? Yes. That's so hot. It's like the surface of the sun, isn't yes. it, Mary Ellen? I can't believe it. We'll be back in a moment to taste it. Stay with us. Well, we're back with the loaf. It looks fabulous. Doesn't it look good? Oh, I love a good loaf. Thank you for showing us. Oh, it's my pleasure. Are you going to cut into it for us? I am. I'm going to slice it. And this is what, you know, this is the money shot here. All right. Wait till you see how I this... I hope it doesn't taste like loafers. Look at how delicious that looks. Who wants the end? I do. All right. You get to be the guinea pig. I don't really care about the end. I just want the first piece because I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, darling. Now, there you go. One of our what pretty sp sprout napkins. I was going to say, line. isn't this beautiful? What's the verdict, Mary Ellen? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so graphic. It <laughs> Look at that. It is. It's really fun. We got the nubbins. <laughs> it's a triplet. I picked my nubbins out first. You, you did? You, you're the mm. nubbin picker. It really is delicious. Mmm. It's cornbread with wieners in it. It's cornbread with... It's hot dog on a stick without the stick. Mm -hmm. It's a culinary conundrum. <laughs> How did they get the wieners to stay in the center? I that's know, it's the amazing. Thing. Well, thank you, Margo, for coming and showing us wiener loaf. I'm so glad. And thank you, Mary Ellen, for eating it. I'm so glad. Okay. <laughs> if you'd like the recipe, come by BrinnyMaxwell.com. In the meantime, enjoy your wiener loaf. Recipe? All you did is stuck a hot dog in the cornbread. Bye now. The spirit is moving. The spirit is moving. Traveling along. Traveling along. The spirit is going.